tipping on my lean, and I'm with my fucking team. I said I'm tipping on my lean, and I'm with my fucking team. Sipping on my lean, and I'm tipping on my lean, and I'm tipping on my lean, and I'm with my fucking team. Sipping on my lean, and I'm with my fucking team. I said I'm tipping on my lean, and I'm with my fucking team. Sipping on my lean, and I'm tipping on my lean. Wednesday around 2.30. I just got off of work. We got off work early for uh, Thanksgiving tomorrow. But uh, I'm on my way right now to pick up some new wheels for the single cab since it's almost back on the road. It's about 80% done. We still have to run the oil feed lines, the return lines, and then just tidy up some of the wiring and get all that stuff ready and then install the fuel pump. And then we can go ahead and bring it to Boosted Innovations out of Slide L to get the dyno tune and get it get it all ready for the road all right so i know i haven't made a video in a while on the truck but i'm i'm hoping to start that up real soon and uh be able to start recording weekly again like that but uh, i know a lot of you guys know that i bought a uh, yamaha r6 and i completely uh I, I redid that bike and pretty much flipped it and i rode it for a little bit went out to a couple meets had, had some fun on that and then sold that and uh doubled my money off of that so now i have all that extra money i can throw at the truck so like i said that's why today we're going to go pick up some wheels and then uh once we get the wheels we have to go by my buddy's house and uh he's gonna give me some lug nuts i'm actually picking them up for around 800 bucks they're 17 inch race stars Basically the same thing I had on the CM cab before I got it lowered and got rid of them. But on the rears, they're 28 inch Nitto 420s, which I'm get, probably gonna rock them for a while if I could even catch traction on them. If I can't, then I'll go ahead and break down and buy some slicks or some radials. So we're about an hour out from going to go pick up the wheels. And in pictures, they, they didn't look too bad in pictures, but they looked like they were curb rashed pretty bad. And I asked the guy, hey, are these curb rashed? And uh, he said, no, none of them are curb rash, just the clear coat's kind of peeling off. So I guess we're gonna see how bad they are in person. And if they're not, if they're not terrible, I'm gonna go ahead and just throw them on the truck and rock them for a little bit. And then I'll end up eventually get them powder coated or uh, painted or something on the lines like that. And one more thing before we get there, I'm hoping the quality is a lot better on my videos from here on out because I went ahead and broke down and bought the new iPhone 11 and from what I've seen so far the camera quality is amazing. I'm hoping the video quality is the same but I actually had to go ahead and buy a new phone because mine shit out on me. It's just it's completely destroyed and I'm actually going to be using the iPhone 11 until I could afford to actually buy a good decent camera for everything and I'm actually saving up right now for new camera strictly for YouTube so I don't have to use my phone and all this stuff and I recently sold my last GoPro at a GoPro Hero Session 4 and I want the new the new GoPro that just came out since it's way better quality and they have the screen on it and everything like that so we're gonna be getting that pretty soon too <laughs> Alright, so we just picked up the wheels and they're actually not in not too bad of condition. Uh, I thought they were going to be worse, but they're good enough for me just to slap them for now until I get them painted or powder coated. So we're on our way home right now and when we get home, we're going to go ahead and pull the stocks off, put these new Raystar wheels on. Oh, 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 oh. 